Namaste. Namaste, O oh venerated master of the universe. The divine in me recognizes the divine in you. Surely you are the best and the brightest, as evidenced by your truly transformational greed. Greetings, O oh beloved next generation, whom we have so carefully brought forth and protected. Soon you must ignore us as but irrelevant and doddering, purposeless and lost old fools. I recognize in your greasy and sweating obesity the effort to attend to that internal eternal. Layers of fat distancing you from the illusory clamor of the too material and very temporal world. Namaste, O oh wise and beneficent corporal execs meditating safely inside locked compounds. Your lack of morals reflective of the great void that you will so soon rejoin once again forever. Namaste to our eternally patient and long-suffering domesticated vegetarian cousins. Our industrially efficient franchise holocaust surely earns each of you so much good karma. Salutations, O oh lawyers, your gifts wasted on forms of deliberate and unnecessary overcomplication. Now that you hate yourself and your once-honored profession, I would almost share your pain. I bow to you, fat and loudly cursing, proudly illiterate, drunken, redneck fellow pilgrims. May your ATVs and pickups, jet skis, snowmobiles, dirt bikes, and speedboats always loudly bray. Namaste, rich and well-connected son, whose only real job has been as a political sock puppet. Greatest success on your new career as elder statesman. We await your fantasy memoirs. Namaste, my criminal brother, clinging to your brutal lifestyle like a wet rat in a dirty flood. I respect your cruel focus like the looming empty eternity into which we are both certainly slipping. Yar, I feel that overwhelming force which drives your greedy and so short-term ambitions. I honor your selfish centering amid this turbulent confusion that leaves us with but a hazy blur. I nod in admiration, holy snake oil salesman, cloaked in odd vestments and stale traditions, making an honored tax-free living, pimping worthless divine life insurance on fictional eternal souls. Namaste to my one billion brothers shackled to unspeakable poverty and inescapable filth. We could each share about one-fifth of a cent and exhaust the two million dollars they say I need for my own single retirement. Namaste revered arms producing protectors for holding phony boogeymen away from our shores. We dare not speak against fat annual budget increases lest we be labeled soft on defense. I watch in awe there, my target market brother, as you manage to ignore so many issues, your zen-like focus upon consumerism, blocking out the squishes, foolish socialist squeaking. I salute your Botox and cosmetic surgeries, your hair dyes, implants, and your miracle fat melters. For surely these all must help you down that great middle way towards a wider cosmic understanding. Namaste, young peasants, working 14-hour days, sleeping 20 to a room, who earn but $100 a month. I support your struggle for a better life by charging the cheap goods you make but cannot afford to buy. Namaste, all my fundamentalist brothers of every ignorant, uncomprising, and angry stripe. I recognize your merciless, amoral righteousness as but a short, violent prelude to an eternal paradise. May your devotion to the mindless pleasure of explosively corporal entertainment be exalted. For just how far can it be from the enlightenment gained by daily repeating Om Mani Padme Hum?